All right, YouTube, I had a couple more comments that were concerning the build on this. Um, I kind of had started this YouTube channel and, uh, you know, life gets in the way and you don't end up posting videos. Um, I had a, couple, a lot of questions about the drive system. Um, basically, this jack shaft right here, I had to loosen this up, um, the gearbox on the side, and then take this gearbox off. And then this whole jack shaft assembly kind of pivots on this bearing. I don't know exactly what you call this bearing, but you can pretty much move this jack shaft up in the air and move it any way you want. Um, I ended up going with uh, a quarter 20 bolt. You can, s sorry, the light's a little bad. Right there, um, I drilled completely through the jack shaft and then the other side of the sprocket and then just through bolted it. Um, kind of thinking that maybe it would have been a good idea for a shear pin. Um, so I'd just keep another one with me just in case. Um, this again, this is a 46 tooth sprocket. Um, the biggest you can get before you start touching the cog drive on the track. So I kind of have this sprocket where the cog rides and is not hitting the paddles, if that makes any sense. Um, had one guy comment. Um, one sec. Yeah. I had one guy comment that he had a smaller sprocket and I did start out with a smaller one as well. And um, it never, um, your torque converter never comes out of low drive, I guess, and never actuates. Um, so it was always in the low lowest mode your torque converter can go and um, it just never worked. So I upgraded to this sprocket and then I get full range of my torque converter now. I can hit my top speed of 16 to 18, I'd say, but it can also come down and just has unlimited torque, which is awesome. Um, and then this is kind of my makeshift answer for um, a chain tensioner as well. Um, just kind of bought a cheap one off of eBay, made just a bracket that run some quarter 20s down there into an L bracket and then just kind of tensions the chain there. That was another big thing I did to this. This constantly skipped the gear on the torque converter. Um, so yeah, I, hopefully I answered that enough. Um, yeah, like I said, you just need to take this gearbox apart and uh, just disassemble it, which isn't as hard as you think it is. And then slide that on to where your sprocket meets up with your engine. Um, I had another question about the throttle assembly. Um, they make, I ended up buying the most expensive one and you sure don't need to do that. Um, after I was kind of putting it together and made, did a little bit more research, you can get much cheaper ones. This one was like 60 bucks and looking at it, I could have made something like this just fine. Um, so it pretty much starts at the engine, um, actuates right here, and then pulls that lever, and then it lit, there's just a set screw in there that you can set the cable that comes out of that, and then it pivots the throttle. That's me working it back and forth. So pretty much this is a, just a giant pivot, pivot and uh, lever assembly, and then that comes across to your cable which I just cut the end off of mine, it slid it in, and then kind of took the sheathing back a little bit so I had enough cable to reach and put in the set screw right there. Um, this comes around, just makes a big loop. Um, it's a 120 inch cable, which is just zip tied along the one side, and then I have it following up up to uh, ATV style um, thumb throttle, basically. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, I just pulled it out of the woodwork pretty much. Falls kind of coming around and there's a couple things that I wanted to do to it anyways before uh, I kind of take it on my winter trip to my cabin in the UP. 
Um, I welded on this ammo can just for spare parts, extra belt. Um, yeah, I'd like another uh, cut to length chain just in case that breaks and a couple master links. Um, I got a one gallon gas can, which hopefully I can make something out of angle iron just to kind of encase this with a bungee cord. And then plan on to making a little like wood, some sort of trapper box just for stuff I want to bring into camp when I go up there. Um, but coming along pretty good. It's just about done. It's more of a use it kind of toy now instead of working on it. Um, actually helping a buddy right now kind of work on his a bit and he's got his down to the same same frame he found the same chassis and we're just copying mine so the style ended up working out just too good so there's that um if you have any other questions or details you want me to focus on um i can try to make another video of you guys um for you guys Trying to think what else I'm missing here. Here's kind of the the detail for the set screw or the jam nuts for positioning the handlebars. Um, it's all quarter 20s, which I try to keep in that ammo can I just welded on. Um, I just threw bolted it right to the chassis, nothing special. Um, yeah, other than that, I think, other than the ammo can, the the gas can mount and then uh, I think I'm going to take the existing motor mounts that I kind of left on there and then make some sort of brush bar. Uh, you kind of find yourself ramming into snow banks or something that helps it go into the track a little bit more and eat I guess. So overall kind of just took it out. Um, yeah it's been an awesome machine. So all right later.